Hello everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube channel again. This is the 10th video of social psychology. Um, so last video, video 9, so you understand how they're different um, between internal and external attribution. Internal basically talking about the person individually, like um, personality, like um, IQ, um, personality, right? Um, for the external, mainly consider um, the, the environment, like um, the weather, the transportation, um, anything outside the person control. Okay, um, so now we are going to elaborate a um, very, very famous um, theory of attribution we call Kelly's theory of attribution. Um, so this is a very useful and quite interesting um, theory of social psychology, um, especially um, the, the, the study of attribution. All right, uh, before we start, um, if you don't yet subscribe my channel, please do so. Please like and share my channel, uh, my video to your friends. All right, um, in terms of Kelly's fear of attribution, um, of course, um, for attribution, so we all really want to know um, the reason of others' behavior or the reason of our own behavior. According to this theory, so uh, we have to consider the, the causes of the behavior in terms of three parts or three components. The first called consensus. Okay, so you will see on the left-hand side. And then after consensus, we will consistency. And then finally, we will be something about distinctiveness. Right? According to Kelly's theory, so once we get sufficient information of all these three components, we can make a conclusion um, whether or not this behavior caused by internal. Internal means the subject itself, uh, himself, or external. External means the environment or other people. All right. So now we're going to elaborate this theory in terms of an um, example. Okay, so the example you can see on the screen. Um, so you observe, okay, you see, um, this example here, you observe an individual complaining about the food. Okay, so for example, it's in a restaurant, and then you see a, a, a customer, you see someone complaining about the food, say the food very bad, um, and then the surface is worse. Um, then anyway, we have really a lot of complaint. The decoration of rest, restaurant is terrible, anything. Okay, so you have to know, um, for example, if you are the boss of the restaurant, you have to figure out the cause. Of, of this complaint because if this is something about um, the the customer himself so you don't need to do a lot you just say sorry and then you don't need to do anything because there's a problem of him internal right but if it's you if you discover the the complaint of the customer is valid the valid mean this is not really about himself or herself not about the, the subject it's about the environment environment means you the boss, the serve, the server, the waiter, waitress, or the food. Okay, so now we are going to take a look and then do finally we determine whether or not this is something about internal, uh, about, about a complaint uh, person, or this is a problem about us, about the, the, the restaurant. Okay, so for the first, we talk about the consensus. Okay, what does it mean, consensus? Consensus means you have to consider whether or not all people or all customers have this kind of complaint. Right. Okay. So upper you see no one else complaining. So if this is the only person, only customer complaining about the food, complaining about the restaurant, so then the consensus is low. Right. So you see this is example of low. But what if this is really a lot of people, a lot of customer have third pretty similar complaint, and then you will see consensus is high. Okay. So that's why you see like several other do complaints. So this is the difference between consensus low. Consensus high, right? This is the first of a consensus. And second, we talk about consistency, right? Consistency means the person always complain in this restaurant. That means this customer, for instance, the customer called Paul, every time when Paul comes to the restaurant, he has certain kinds of complaints, similar complaints. Of course, you know if Paul dislikes the, the, the restaurant, why he keep coming, right? But anyway, consistency means this person or this customer keep doing the same thing. This is complaint, right? That's why if this is the case, then consistency high, right? And then you see um, the person always complain in this restaurant. Okay, so second case, consistency high as well. Okay, so the person anytime. Paul comes to the restaurant, he has pretty similar complaint, similar gesture, asking for some food and then complaining the food, right? Okay, so now the second called consistency. And then the third you see is about distinctiveness. What does it mean? Distinctiveness means the person also complain 
in other setting. Your answer setting means other wash one. Okay, so if distinctiveness is low, that means the person um, also complain in the other setting. That means this person, this poor, not only complain your wash one. This poor, whenever the poor up, uh, poor, or whenever the person go out dining, like for go to big restaurant, small restaurant. So distinctiveness is low. That means the person love complain. They complain anything, anywhere, right? So that's why distinctiveness low, right? So for distinctiveness high, means the person um, does not complain in other setting. That means um, the customer only complain your restaurant, only complain your food. So the customer pretty satisfied with some other restaurants providing. Like um, pretty enjoy, seldom complain in somewhere somewhere else, right? So now you know. Perhaps you already have a feeling. Of course, uppercase we see low consensusness. Only the customer complain. Only poor complain. No one complain in your restaurant. Consistency high. Any time when poor come to the restaurant, they keep complaining. Keep, keep complaining. And then distinctiveness low. Poor won't consider which. Um, um, rash one won't consider setting, but complain anywhere, all time. Okay, so if this is a case like low, high, low, so you can conclude this is internal, external. You guess ah, this is internal, internal causation. That means internal um, attribution. That means um, poor complain your restaurant, the restaurant food, the restaurant service, the restaurant decoration. Not because of the environment, not because of you as a boss, not because of the waiter or waitress. It's about the person, internal factor, internal attribution. That's why if there's a case like low, high, low, so we can know, we can conclude there's a problem of poor, there's a problem of the customer. Then you only have to say sorry. And then you, 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 you start feeling like you don't welcome poor. This is a troublemaker, right? But if there's a case like high, 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 high means first consensus high, Almost everyone in your class in in West one complain about the food your your West one the food service consistency high those people keep complaining okay so um tomorrow yesterday um next week all time and then distinctive was high only your West one get the complaint no one else in the in the city no other West one get complaint uh from this customer okay then you know. This is not internal, this is external. External means this is not a problem of Paul, not the problem of the complainer, not the problem of the customer. It's a problem of the external. External means you have to think of your management. You have to think of the quality of the food provided. You have to think of how to, to, to train um, your waiter or waitress serving attitudes or serving abilities. So this is what I'm talking about. So in terms of this three, Factors, consensus, consistency, and distinctiveness. We can conclude the action caused by internal, the person itself, or the environment. And then you can think of a lot of example uh, about that. Okay. Um, of course, I believe you will think of what about some other combination. Um, for example, uh, high low high, low low low, or low high low. Okay. So in terms of some other combination, so we we we, we can judge. Uh, internal or externally easily, so that's why they would I would say they are a bit com confused. But if these two results came, so we can judge internal or external more straightforwardly. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, any question, please let me know. Please type your comment, type question on the comments area of this YouTube. Thank you very much. See you next time.